Changes in Russia's nuclear doctrine are intended to discourage Ukraine's Western allies from supporting attacks on Russia, the Kremlin said Thursday. Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov said that the revisions in the document announced by President Vladimir Putin are a signal warning those countries about the consequences in case of their involvement in an attack on our countries with various assets, not necessarily nuclear ones. In a strong, new message to the West, Putin said Wednesday that any nation's conventional attack on Russia that is supported by a nuclear power will be considered a joint attack on his country. The threat, outlined in a revision of Moscow's nuclear doctrine, was clearly aimed at discouraging the West from allowing Ukraine to strike Russia with longer-range weapons and appears to significantly lower the threshold for the possible use of Russia's nuclear arsenal. Speaking during a meeting that discussed changes in the nuclear doctrine, Putin didn't specify whether the modified document envisages a nuclear response to such an attack, but he emphasized that Russia could use nuclear weapons in response to a conventional assault posing a critical threat to our sovereignty, a vague formulation that leaves broad room for interpretation. Russia is making slow but steady gains in Ukraine as the conflict grinds through its third year, and the Kremlin is seeking to discourage stronger Western support for Kiev. Putin emphasized that the revised doctrine spells out conditions for using nuclear weapons in greater detail, noting they could be used in case of a massive air attack. Иране здравомыслящие главы государств, здравомыслящие политики, аналитики прекрасно понимают и понимали серьезность заявлений президента Путина. Тем более, когда речь идет о таком, такой беспрецедентной конфронтации, спровоцированной прямым вовлечением западных стран, в том числе и ядерных держав, в конфликт вокруг Украины. Разумеется, происходит корректировка ядерного сдерживания с учетом тех элементов напряженности, которые складываются по периметру наших границ. Когда будет опубликовано, сейчас я вам не могу на это ответить. President Putin spokesperson Dmitry Peskov on Wednesday sharply criticized Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky's who called for unspecified global action to force Russia into peace. Such a position is a fatal mistake, Peskov said. On Tuesday Zelensky dismissed the notion of peace talks with Moscow, calling instead for unspecified global action to force Russia into peace for invading his country and to comply with the UN Charter's requirement that every country respect the sovereignty and territorial integrity of all other nations. The Kremlin spokesperson claimed that it was a profound misconception, adding that it will inevitably have consequences for the Kiev regime. Peskov also rejected UK Foreign Secretary David Lamy's accusations at the UN Security Council meeting of Russia tearing up UN statute. We do not agree with this position, Peskov said. He added that Russia acts in accordance with all principles and norms of international law, which includes protecting its legitimate interests. No, from my point of view, such a position is a fatal mistake. Fatal mistake, system mistake. Глубочайшее заблуждение, которое, конечно же, неизбежно будет иметь последствия для киевского режима. Мы не согласны с такой позицией, мы неоднократно об этом говорили. Россия действует в своем соответствии со всеми принципами и нормами международного права в том числе защищая свои законные интересы. И, конечно, конечно, Россия выступает категорически против применения двойных стандартов в трактовке международного права. Этим славятся и Великобритания, и Соединенные Штаты. Russia launched new strikes in the Ukrainian city of Zaporizhia, leaving one dead and six wounded, including two children, authorities said Tuesday morning. 
Emergency workers worked in the dark to clear debris and extinguish fires early Tuesday. It was the second consecutive night glide bomb attack on Zaporizhia, damaging residential buildings and critical infrastructure according to local authorities. Governor of Zaporizhia Oblast Ivan Fedorov said Monday's attack was the first time glide bombs targeted the city since the war began.